dynamic? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's a little bit different when you don't know all the riders you are, you're racing with. You don't know the, the strength of them. Um, but I like it. I, li I like to come here. It's not. It's an important race for for a few teams, but uh, for our team and, and for some other teams, it's more relaxed and, and we can we can take it a little bit more easy. And I think it's a really good race to. Uh, for preparing for the for the upcoming races and, and it's good preparation for the for this tour. It's a good start on, uh, on that preparation. Um, for those riders, I think this is the, the important race of the year, of course. Uh, for, for I think uh, for those teams, uh, if they win a stage, of course, it's, uh, it, it, it makes the year, and uh, they're in uh, top shape over here. And uh, I'm all, I'm here like in, in shape after the classics, had a little vacation, and now I start again in this race. So that's uh, more difficult, of course. And uh, um, I think the teams are really good, uh, the American teams, uh, good riders. So uh, I think that they they. They level, they are even with the, with the European races, I think. Yeah. How do you know the U.S. races? I mean, how do you know who to watch or if a move goes away? I mean, you don't have any experience with these guys. Yeah. Is there anyone on your team that knows? No, no not, not much, not, not many teams, but there are also a lot of American riders who race in Europe, of course, so we know them a little bit, but the other teams, uh, yeah, you have to uh, yeah, count on yourself to get them back or have other teams, and usually that's all right. Um, you know, there's a bit of a hard hierarchy, but I think at the end of the day, everyone's just happy to be part of an event like this. You know, it's good for everyone, and uh, it's good for all the teams, big and small. And uh, we just need more events like this, and to keep these events going. What's the dynamic between like the big pro tour teams and the domestic Ryder. teams? They obviously know a lot of these teams, like a stage win here, you can almost make the season. Um, I think that's true for both. Both uh, levels of teams, though. You see uh, teams like HTC and uh, Radio Shack. This is a very, very important race for them as well. It's not, you know, it's, it's no longer a small, uh, a small event on anyone's radar. So, of course, it's it's the biggest thing we do all year, whereas they do, you know, other grand tours and whatnot. But I think the importance is very high for all the teams across the board. So. Um, no, no, no. How much do those teams sort of try to control things and sort of like put the stamp down on the domestic teams in terms of like when the breakaway goes, how long the go I think it, goes? It's, I think it's pretty common sense where the, of course the domestic teams are, are, are not as competitive in the general classification, so they're looked at to be more aggressive, you know, the guys that are attacking first and attacking early and attacking often. And uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, it's a beautiful thing, you know, we, we can uh, do our thing, they can do theirs, and uh, there's no bullying aspect right Anything like that, I think everyone fits in nicely. So, well, I think uh, the difference between us is uh, pro tour versus domestic is just the fact that they they come into our our um, areas and race our races, and, and they, they want to control control how it goes. And for us, every opportunity of getting to race these big races is huge for the domestic team, so we don't want to waste anything. So we're going to race super hard, super aggressive, and uh, make every opportunity count. And sometimes the pro tour teams don't really appreciate that because it makes their job harder. I think that the racing here in America is harder because of the domestic teams wanting to get the exposure. Whereas in, if you did a pro tour race, it's, they have a lot more control. Everyone just accepts the, the fate of for that day. That's it's going to be a sprinter's day and blah, blah, blah. And then, whereas the domestic guys over here, we're, we're going to be racing super hard all the way to the finish line just in case. You know, We're going to take every opportunity. And I think that makes it a lot more exciting and uh, a lot harder racing. And I, I, I think that's the, that's the main difference. Yeah. You know, the smaller pro Connell teams, they have to be aggressive, they have to get in the breakaways. That's their chance to, uh, to shine. And you never know. Once in a while they pull it off. So they got to keep trying and, and uh, no one's ever, it's a bike race, they're, they're definitely allowed to attack and, and uh, no one's ever trying to hold them back. You know, that's it's understandable. Everybody's racing for their objective and, and there's times when it's like a little bit we're in the same mix for the same goal, but that's a bike race. Yeah, I mean, if they get nicer hotels and uh, that's fine. I mean, I'm not, I don't think anybody really cares about that. You know? What about the racing itself? I mean, the, some of these European teams, maybe they don't know the domestic riders. Are they? Do they try to control it? Do they get annoyed when people are attacking? Yeah, there's definitely a bit of that. I mean, and, um, 
that's all fair and good. They could try and they could do whatever they, they feel they need to do. I'm not going to stop anybody, but uh, if they try to stop me from doing what I'm going to do, then there will be issues, you know. And uh, uh, for the most part, though, everybody's really respectful and really cool. So uh, as long as it stays that way, there won't be much of a problem. So they, they realize you guys have a job to do? And they're gonna Some of them. Some of them. Some of them think that we're here to, uh, you know, specifically to make up numbers, which, fuck, maybe they're right. But I don't think so necessarily. You know? I mean, it's a shame that they have to uh, race with such amateurs. But again, I take that. I mean, I'm kind of joking. There's 98% of everybody is really, really cool. So.